All right, so we know the U.S. is pulling out of northern Syria, thereby abandoning the Kurdish fighters in that region who helped the U.S. combat ISIS. Now, this coming ahead of what looks like is shaping up to be a Turkish invasion. The Turks, who view the Kurds as terrorists, linking them directly to the PKK, who is labeled by that country as a terror group. Joining us to break it all down, former Pentagon official Mike Malouf. Uh, so, Mike, I hate that you called it on this very show months ago. You said the U.S. will leave the, the Kurdish fighters behind, leave them vulnerable to the Turks. It seems like it's all going to happen. Break down for us why this is happening. I think it's because U.S. appears to have larger geopolitical uh, interests involved rather than just a, 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 the Kurds. It's really important for the U.S. To, keep, to try to maintain Turkey in the western camp as opposed to watching it very increasingly toward the east, uh, toward, uh, toward uh, Russia. For, uh, ironically, the uh, safe zone area has basically ta uh, Putin's tacit approval as well. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, it, it, uh, it, it's all part of uh, Turkey's notion to, to outwardly to create this buffer zone right. on the safe zone. But on the other hand, it's also his way of trying to gain more territory out of Syria that he's been longing for for quite some time to make from, from Idlib all the way to, even to Mosul into Iraq to make it part of, a, of, of the new Ottoman Empire, if you will, because this, it, this is what he has designs on. And, uh, this, and when you look at some maps from Turkey, this is what they're indicating. So you think Erdogan has this yes. plan somewhere to yeah. turn, to have a brand new, yeah. like you said, brand new Ottoman yeah. Empire, yeah. take over parts of Iraq too? Yes, yes. Wow. Be and, it, and that would include a lot of the oil producing areas. So this would coincidentally, uh, uh, that, that, yeah, just just by happenstance. Coincidentally, well, what's also of concern, I think, is that Trump. Uh, you didn't mention it here, but Trump announced that he is releasing the ISIS fighters t into Turkey's custody. They something like ten thousand of these of these uh, 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 militants who have been uh, in captivity under U.S. auspices, and the U.S. has tried to re return them to. Their countries; those countries refuse to take those net, their foreign nationals back. So this back. is a good thing that Turkey is taking these ISIS well, fighters. Well, in the past, Turkey has been uh, a little sympathetic to really? ISIS fighters. They're all Sunnis. He's Sunni, and if it suits his purpose, and you look at you look at his uh, fighters in Idlib and what have you, they were basically Al Qaeda. So you, he can repurpose them. Uh, absolutely. Potentially. Yep. So re-educate so, them, if you will. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Recycle, reduce, yeah, and reuse. Exactly. So, so Mike, th this is obviously a major it's betrayal a game changer. Yeah. Of, a, of a U.S. Yeah. ally. But the Turks are also a U.S. ally, especially in the That's way right. of NATO. That's right. Do you think this move came at the request of Turkey? Do you think they asked for the U.S. to back off? Well, I think it's something that's been in the background for some time. This is why he's been pressuring what, what Erdogan's been holding out for. Uh, that's why he's been, I think he leveraged Trump for a change uh, in getting those S-400s in exchange for doing something like this. Now, basically, Trump has capitulated to Erdogan's uh, demands. And right. the I only think people are calling him out on that. And then yeah. just moments ago, before we came on air, President Trump was tweeting. Yeah. You know, I think you're right that he got caught. He got caught in backing down. Yeah. And that now he's tweeting and, and threatening economic warfare on Turkey. Yeah. Well, that's if he kills Kurds. But it's going to be inevitable. The Kurds have already said that they that if this occurs, yeah. they're going to declare war on Turkey. So we this is not this is going to be the beginning of something brand new. Uh, because it's it, and what the Kurds are concerned about is that this is their area, of their culture, right. and, and by historically, and what, right? and what er, yes, historically, and what Erdogan wants to do is bring in all the Syrian refugees he has in this country and transplant them there. in that in that area and, the and area. in the Kurdish area. And the Kurds are saying, look, that's going to change our entire culture, our entire way of life as a so, consequence. So President Trump, in a string of tweets all morning, he was mm -hmm. trying to justify the abandonment of the Kurds in mm -hmm. Syria. He started by saying this. He said, the United States was supposed to be in Syria for 30 days. Mm -hmm. That was many years ago. Mm -hmm. We stayed and got deeper and deeper into the battle with no aim in sight. When I arrived in Washington, ISIS was running rampant in the area. Mm -hmm. We quickly defeated 100% of the ISIS caliphate. So, Mike, is this a justifiable reason to leave the Kurds, or is this 
him just trying to, you know, gin up support ahead of an election cycle? Well, I think it's the latter. It's the to, to uh, trying to clear, clear, get, minimize U.S. Uh, foreign involvement mm -hmm. in what appears to be a hopeless case. When he had when he had Bolton on board as national security advisor, uh, they stayed, and you'll notice he reversed yeah, yeah. himself. He initially pulled those troops out, and then he decided to keep retain them, keep keep a thousand. It's amazing how just a thousand U.S. troops can alter the whole right, Middle East is, map. It's crazy. This but, is what caused Mattis to quit this exactly, debate exactly. over Syria. And, and lastly, Mike, I'm out of time. But I got to ask this: If Turkey invades northern Syria, how is Russia going to respond? Given that they are the only foreign state that Bashar al-Assad has welcomed in, mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, Putin will pay lip service to uh, foreign invasion without uh, invitation. But I think he has tacitly uh, gone along with the with the safe zone concept okay. in order to uh, pl in order to keep his keep his uh, position going and 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 keep. Keep Erdogan in line, and at the same time, it will be uh, okay for uh, he'll he'll assuage Assad somehow. A lot of moving parts, oh, totally. a lot of things changing in the next totally. few hours, uh, depending totally. on where the U.S. No, it's a very is. fluid situation. We are monitoring. As always, appreciate your expertise, Thank Mike you. Maloof. Thank you. Always right. <laughs> Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.